Hello, it is another Sunday School with Mrs. Abaro. Before we delve into today's lesson, I'd like us to make clear the answer to question 2 of our assessment of last Sunday's um, lesson. The question was, while on the way, Jesus explained to all the disciples what he would suffer. Many of us chose true. It is actually incorrect. Let's see why. Mark chapter 10 verse 32. They were on their way up to Jerusalem with Jesus leading the way and the disciples were astonished while those who followed were afraid. Again, he took the 12 aside and told them what was going to happen to him. Now, Jesus took the 12 aside to tell them what was going to happen to him. He didn't tell all the disciples. Okay. All right. So the response to that question was supposed to be what? False. Okay. All right. Okay, so that being cleared out, let's get into our lesson for today. Today is the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We continue to read from the Gospel of Mark chapter 10. And in this Gospel reading, we see that we must be persistent. Yes, persistence. It means not giving up. Okay? Now, have you ever asked for something from mom or dad and they take time in providing that thing for you? Maybe their answer was a no. Do you ask again? Maybe you wanted a toy, an ice cream, a game. You wanted them to help you with your assignment or take you to the mall or something. Do you ask again when the first answer was a no? Sometimes we ask again even when the answer is no. Why? Hmm? Yeah, because our parents care about us and they want us happy. They love us. So we ask again. We don't give up. We keep asking, isn't it? We can be very persistent with our parents, especially when we want something from them. We do this because we know they love us. Hmm? In today's gospel reading, Jesus teaches us that we can be persistent about bringing our needs to him. Remember, persistent means what? Refusing to give up. Yes, that's a new word for you, okay? Now, we'll have to learn what happened when a man named Bartimaeus brought his need to Jesus. Let us see how persistent he was. Pay attention. When Jesus walked through cities and villages with his disciples, many people followed him. One day, when they were near the city of Jericho, Jesus and his disciples passed a man who sat by the road begging. This poor man was blind. His name was Bartimaeus. When Bartimaeus heard the crowd of people passing by, he asked what was happening. We are following Jesus of Nazareth. Someone replied. Bartimaeus had heard of Jesus and how he had healed people who were sick. He wanted to meet Jesus, so he called out loudly, Jesus, have mercy on me. Some people didn't think it was right for this beggar to be calling out to Jesus like that. So they told him to be quiet. Be quiet. But Bartimaeus wanted Jesus to notice him. Jesus, have mercy on me. He shouted even louder this time. People were embarrassed and annoyed by this beggar. Jesus heard Bartimaeus calling to him and stopped walking. Bring the man to me, Jesus said. Cheer up, Bartimaeus, someone said. Jesus wants to see you. Bartimaeus jumped to his feet and walked to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked Bartimaeus. Master, Bartimaeus said. I want to see. Jesus said, Your faith has healed you. Receive your sight. Instantly, Bartimaeus was able to see. It was a miracle. Jesus had healed him. Bartimaeus was so happy that he jumped up and down for joy. He praised God for the answer, and then he followed Jesus along the way. <laughs> I believe we enjoyed it. Yes. All right. Let's take some questions. Okay. Question one. Bartimaeus was a blind man. 
What did he want from Jesus? He wanted Jesus to heal him so he could see, right? Yes. Question two. Now, when he um, asked from people that, um, what was it, what happened, uh, happening? And they told him that Jesus was passing by and he shouted, Jesus, son of David. And they shut him up. Did he keep quiet? No, he kept calling out to Jesus. He kept calling. He was persistent. And then Jesus heard and asked them to bring Bartimaeus to him. Now, Bartimaeus went to Jesus, right? Now, what did Jesus do? What did Jesus do to Bartimaeus? Jesus healed Bartimaeus. He told Bartimaeus that your faith has made you whole. Received your sight, receive your sight, be healed. And Bartimaeus could see. And he was very, very happy. Okay, what have we learned? Lesson one, be persistent in prayer. What does it mean to be persistent again? Refusing to give up. Not letting go, not giving up. Yes, we keep calling. Bartimaeus kept calling out to Jesus. He didn't shut up. He didn't allow the people to shut him down. What other lesson? Bring your needs to Jesus. We must continue to bring our needs to God in prayer. Those around Bartimaeus rebuked him. They asked him to be quiet, but he refused. He didn't shut up. He persisted. He didn't give up. He wouldn't want to let Jesus go. He wouldn't want to miss the opportunity of meeting with Jesus. For he had heard, I believe, that Jesus heals people. So he also wanted to be healed. He was bold in calling out to Jesus. He had this confidence. He called out to Jesus in confidence. And you know what the Bible says in Hebrew? That we should approach the throne of God's grace in confidence for us to get need from the Lord, for us to find mercy for, from the Lord. So, Bartimaeus called out to Jesus. Another one for us to have faith. Believe. What did Jesus tell Bartimaeus at the end? He said, your faith has made you whole. And what is faith? Believing without doubting. So we must believe. So whatever it is you need from God, believe. Are you ill? You want God to heal you? Believe. Call out to Jesus. Um, are you worried about something? Call out to Jesus. Are you afraid about school, your assessment, or any subject? Call out to Jesus. Are you bothered about your parents not um, having enough resources for school, for home? Call out to Jesus and believe. Okay? Keep calling out to Jesus. Do not be quiet. Do not give up. Keep calling and he will hear. Okay? All right. Let us take our memory verse. It's from verse 52 and it says, Go, said Jesus. Your faith has healed you. I want us to take just that part. Go, said Jesus. Your faith has healed you. So Jesus can tell us, Go, your faith has made you well. Oh, out of your faith, I'm going to do this for you. So we need to have faith. Let us pray. Dear Father, Help me to bring my needs to you. Teach me to wait on you to answer me. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We come to the end of today's Sunday school. Jesus loves you and he cares for you. Till next Sunday, it is bye. Refuse to give up. Keep calling out to Jesus. God bless you.